Hello everyone and welcome back to our channel. In today's video, we'll show you how to add a scheduling functionality to your Wix website in 2023. Of course, adding a scheduling feature can greatly improve the user experience and streamline appointment booking for your customers. So, make sure to stick by, let's dive right into it and let's get started. Before we start with this video, make sure to watch it from now till the end so you have full experience. So first, let's start by opening whatever browser we're going to use to follow this tutorial steps with. In my case, I'm actually going to use the Brave browser, and of course, in your case, you can use any other browser that you could possibly have. Once you do so, go and type wix.com in the URL section, hit the enter button, and log in into your account if you have an account. If you don't have an account, you can simply go and create an account by clicking on Get Started or log in into your or a register or sign up, and of course, follow the prompts and enter your information, your password, email, and etc. so you can create your account. Once you do so, you'll normally find yourself on the dashboard. Make sure to go and create a website for yourself if you don't have one and just access it and you'll be good to go. And of course, the first step even before uh, adding your schedule uh, is to, of course, to choose a scheduling tool that integrates well with Wix. Of course, there are several options available such as Wix Booking, uh, Equity Scheduling or Calendly. Research and compare different tools to find out uh, what best fits your needs and, of course, in terms of featuring, uh, pricing, and ease of integration. And, of course, then, once you're choosing a scheduling tool, uh, you'll have to go and sign up for an account and follow the setup instructions provided by the tool and, of course, configure your availability and appointment types and any other settings necessarily for your scheduling needs. Of course, you can even customize the look and feel for the scheduling interface to match your Wix website design. And of course, once you do so, now it's time to add the scheduling functionality on your Wix website. Once you are on your Wix website, of course, you simply have to navigate to the page where you want to add the scheduling feature. So make sure to enter the Wix editor to make changes to your site as we are here doing. And of course, in the Wix editor, look up for the add button, which is this one, and make sure to go and, or the plus sign, of course, as you can see, you'll find this here at the bottom or top left corner to access the, the list of available elements and features. Search for scheduling tool. You choose in step one or look for a booking category, and you can select the scheduling tool and add it to your desired section on your web page. So simply click here. Of course, if you want, don't want to look for it, example you can simply go and search here but of course you'll find it here at the bottom maybe yeah booking as you can see here you'll be able to add it to your site so of course you can use one of the things that i told you before about or you can even go and sell an app on the wix app store as an example and add it to your site so as you can see the booking here click on add to site and as you can see add in the wix booking so now let's just wait a bit it should not take a lot of time so as you can see here, create your first service example. So you can skip it if you want to, and you can even go and click on create a service. And of course that will take you to this page. So let's just wait for this page until it loads. And as you can see here, you'll have to go and add your service. As an example, I'm just going to put like an uh, info session. So as you can see here, you will have to go and enter the details of the service. So as an example, the name I'm just going to put tests or I'm just going to let it as it is, so info uh, session and of course here the tagline, this is just optional, description is just optional also so you can put whatever you want or you can leave them empty duration like, I'm just going to put like 13 minutes uh, buffer time, uh, 5 minutes as an example and here price and payment per session with a plan or per session with plan so choose whatever suits you, then here you'll have to go and choose the price of course you can choose free if you want to and the price description as an example, just put whatever suits you so for example I'm just going to put $5 uh, as an example and of course here you will have to go and enter the location so you need to save the progress before you can edit the server location so click on save and here you'll have to go and edit the location so enter your business location here we can even go and add your custom location so i'm just going to put the test again and click on save you can even go and choose this client's place if you want to so click on save on whatever suits you here and as you can see here you can go and add some stuff if you have in your server so maybe if you're doing another service like uh, instead of this uh, info session or maybe even this info session you may require some stuff so you make sure to go and add them here and then make sure to 
go and add a, a cover image and photo gallery for your service and even you can go to this advanced settings so to take you'd like online book and upgrade to a business and e-commerce premium plan you can go and view plans from here by clicking this option it will open a new tab for you and you can see go, you can go here and compare the plans and choose whatever suits you and get this if you want to so once you're done click on save everything so everything will be saved and as you can see great your changed have been saved so now you can simply start checking your booking online if you want to upgrade and if you don't want to you can go and start with this one so simply click on it here if you want to as an example edit it if you uh, or if you don't want to click on cancel and of course you will find your service here so you'll be able now to uh, find it on your site so as you can see you can even now set some hours work or work hours so depending on where you are free to do this booking section so here you'll have to uh, check the days that you are free on and the, even uh, the date on so as an example i'm just going to put all of them in here you'll have to go and open the hours or t uh, enter the hours that you are free on and of course you can even go and add some more hours if you want to or even delete them or delete even the whole day so once you do so click on save again and close this and as you can see simply now you'll have to go and connect your payments method if you click on get paid here you'll have to go and connect the payments method so you will get paid uh, of course as you can see there is a manual payments if you want to so customers can pay you offline according to your instructions or you can go and choose this paypal option you can connect this by clicking here and simply you'll have follow this instructions here to connect your paypal so you will be able to use it if you don't want to use it of course you can see more other payments option like there's faster pay pays on uh, payment wall and direct pay online so you can choose whatever suits you from here if you want to instead of paypal and connect it so as an example if you click on connects on any one of those options they will give you a clear instructions so simply follow them of course for example this will be the same for every one of them so once you follow the instructions for example you will be good to go and you will find an option where you will get picked so as you can see and the paypal will also have its own instructions for example so let's just go back as you can see paypal will have its own instructions so follow them if you want to connect your paypal and get paid you using it so once you finish this three option uh, you set your hours get paid you will be able to add it into your wix website and you will be good to go so if you reach this point of this video congratulations you've successfully learned how to add the scheduling functionality to your wix website in 2020 of course by choosing a scheduling tool setting up your uh, setting it's an app of course and adding it to your wix website customizing it and configuring and testing it you can even go and test it of course and see if everything is working correctly and even promoting it if you want you can offer a seamlessly uh, or a seamless booking experience for your clients or customers if you found this video helpful please give it a thumbs up and subscribe for our channels for more helpful tutorials like this one so good luck with your adding schedule to your books website and we'll see you in the next video